Hi everybody, this is the video tutorial for accessing the simulation software OpenSim. So I will show you how to access the software and how to do a few different activities within the software. But remember that this document will be your guide. It will provide an overview of all of the different activities you, you will do within OpenSim. So you've already accessed this video tutorial and in a few moments we will um, download and access the Python code file as well. So to access OpenSim, you'll need to click on the start menu in the lower left. There is no shortcut for this software, so you'll need to search for it. So click on the start menu and type OpenSim and click on the program file. Software will load and open. Then we're going to go to File, Open Model, and you're going to click on Computer, Bootcamp, double click, double click Open Sim, Models, and this one uh, with the numbers 2392, double click then double click the 2392 again, and you will see this model. This is a simulation of the human body. So according to our document, you can go over some of the functions that allow you to move around the window. So I would suggest that you do that, some of the shortcut functions that are described in the document here. So try out some of these described here. These are shortcut functions described in the chart. And then you can try out some coordinates. So after you try out some of these shortcut functions, you can try to change some coordinates, which would be under here. Um, pelvis tilt. And then you can go down, um, do some knee simulations, some ankle simulations, as well as um, back motions, which are pretty funny. Try out some of those, and then you can reset to default up here under poses. Okay, next, once you've tried out some of those basic activities, we can do some gait or walking simulations. And in order to do that, we will have to load some Python script. So you'll go back to the document, go up, and click on the Python file link, click download, and then say keep. And from here, click and drag it to the desktop. So again, I clicked, I held down, and I dragged it to the desktop. If this window is not minimized, you'll need to do that there. So you can get your Python code on the desktop. Go back to Open Sim, click on Scripts tab, Open, and go to your desktop and choose the Python script. And then from there, we're going to go to Scripts, Run, and choose the Python script again. So we see a plot with the two models. The crouch gate has um, a different length of the hamstring versus normal gate. So you can look at this. There are a few questions about this plot. Close out of it, and now we can look at the model. You can zoom out a little bit and click on the navigator window up here. And notice that you have two models. So first, we can double click on normal gait and press play, and that shows us the normal gait. Gait means to walk. You can scroll down and double click on the crouch gait and click play and see the crouch gait. To play them both together, you can click normal gait up here, hold down control key, click crouch gate, so they're both selected, push play, and they're supposed to play together. I'm not sure why they're not. Let's try it again. Normal gate, control, crouch gate. They should be playing together. Let's see. That one plays. 
this one plays. I was able to get them to play together earlier. Oh, that's because I'm supposed to do, I forgot a step. Right click, sync motions. Now they'll play together. All right. So once you look at that and answer some questions about that, um, you can look at our wrist analysis. Um, I would go to file, close all, discard, and you can close these guys as well. Go to file, open model, computer, boot camp, open sim model. And then a uh, wrist model, double click that. And you now have a wrist model. Once it shows up, hopefully it does. And once your wrist model shows up, you should be able to adjust these. It seems like it's just going a little bit slow. Let me see if I can restart it to get the wrist model. Open sim. Hopefully, I have enough time in my recording limit here. Wrist model. There we go. There's the wrist model. I think it was just a little bit slow. And you can make some of these adjustments to see what happens in your wrist model. Seems like it's still making adjustments. But if it loads properly for you guys, loaded model, let's see. Let me try to reload it again. So it seems to just be sort of slow. Hopefully it works for you guys. And I'm just seeing if I can get it to work on my other computer here. I did get it to load earlier. I didn't try any of the, let's see. I think my computer is just overwhelmed. Try it again. Hmm. Here's the wrist model, and then Can try these doesn't seem to be working but we'll see if if you can get it to work when you try it so there you go remember you have um, some things to focus on and, and look at and this gives the overview and that's simulation software